Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get discontinued apps from the Apple Store. And yes, this is legal and easy to do. There's one important condition though. You need to have had the app in the past. If you never ever downloaded it, this method won't work. Well, actually there is, you know, an alternative way to do it, but I'll explain that further on in the video. Alright, so let's get an app I once had years ago. Uh, it's called Cause of Death. It's a mystery slash storytelling app. It's really fun. So this is how it actually looks like. There's a bunch of information given. Um, but if we go up on the Wikipedia page, we can actually see that it's written removed from the App Store in September 2014. So if we go in the App Store right now and search for it, we can we actually can't see the app that I'm looking for. Uh, it's not there. There's just a bunch of random apps that might, you know, have a similar name to it, but the actual app isn't there. It's simply discontinued. Okay, so the only thing you need is to log in with the Apple ID you used when downloading that app in the past. Okay, so make sure you connect with that Apple ID, and once that's done, click on Updates and then Purchased. Here you'll have all the apps you bought with that ID. Uh, if you have a lot of them, might as well use the search bar on the top. And there it is. So when I click on it, it just says loading and never shows up because it's discontinued. So let's go back and now click on the cloud icon to download it. Great, so now you can actually see it on your device's home screen. So there it is. Let's have a quick look. I'm going to fast forward it just to show you, you know, how it is. Um, so this method is pretty simple and easy. And the great part is that it works. Many people actually didn't know that you can download discontinued apps, but you can, as you can see. So if you haven't downloaded the app you wanted, you know, in the past, this won't work. But what you can do is log on with someone else's Apple ID, you know, someone who already had the app before, and then successfully download it yourself using this method. Another example of a discontinued app is Flappy Bird. So I know that there are other similar apps to it right now in the Apple Store, but if you want the original, the one that first came out, the one by the creator Dong Nguyen, then use this method and get it. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions or video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will read everything you guys write. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time.